Hi, my name is Lila. I'm 16 years old and I go to Bellevue Christian. I have gone to Bell Press almost my whole life. I grew up in public school where I didn't have much of a Christian community and I suffered from anxiety at a really young age. But I had a really great community with leaders that helped shape me like my mom and youth group leaders here and young life leaders and teachers at my school that brought me to be who I am and to help me come up with the decision to get rebaptized. My leaders have always influenced me to want to share Jesus' love and it's something I pray about every single night for I don't know how many years. I've always wanted my friends to feel comfortable with me and that they can come to me for Jesus or any type of safe place or even just anyone more than my friends. I just want people to feel like a Jesus blanket around me. Back in January, I had to make the decision of either going on a mission trip to Guatemala through Bell Press or to Young Life Camp in Canada. And it was a really hard decision and I really tried to pray to God for what He wanted for me to do and what was the right decision. And I had a feeling that God was telling me that someone else deserved that Guatemala spot. So I had to make a really tough decision of giving up that spot and giving it to someone else. And I enrolled in Young Life Camp and I was really worried that I was making the wrong decision. It was me that was making it and not God. But in the end, it really was God making that decision for me. And God really showed me that his part of his plan was for me to be at camp when we were, my cabin group was in cabin time doing a devotional. And it was really emotional and everyone was really connected to God. And I said a prayer in my head, just asking that my friends can feel comfortable and that they can come to me and that God can give me the words to, that they need. And then right after I said that prayer, one of my friends came to me and just cried in my arms and told me that she, I have brought her closer to God and that she feels his presence around me. And I was just so overwhelmed with God's love that she had spoke to me through him. And then the craziest part is another friend came to me and said the exact same words that she had just said and just cried in my arms. And I didn't know what to do because I had two people just say the same words to me. And I was so overwhelmed with God's love that he spoke to me. So at camp, I had never felt so comfortable with God surrounded by all the big mountains in Canada. It was just so comforting to feel His presence and His love. And I felt like all of my anxieties that had developed from my young childhood had just completely gone. And I felt like I was ready to just dedicate my life to Christ. On October 6th, the day I got reaffirmed, it was an amazing day because I had all of my favorite people, like my family and my friends and my teachers and my youth group and Young Life leaders that all have just made a big impact on my life were there to support me, including my third grade teacher who surprised me there when she helped me through my anxiety in a non-faith-based environment at my old public school, which was really amazing. I've never felt so loved by so many people. I was baptized when I was a baby, and I feel like that was more of my parents' decision, but now that I was reaffirmed and I got rebaptized, I feel like it's more of my choice to recommit and rededicate my life to Christ and do everything that I do for Him. After being baptized, I try to do more in my life for Christ and I feel like I recognize God in others more. And since being baptized, I feel like my anxiety has been completely gone and it was left in the pool.